Oh, man, I hate Mondays. No, nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Cruise day, Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah. It's time for Bruise Day Tuesday. Here's Drez and Big Nate. There's that sound you've been waiting for. It is Bruise Day Tuesday once again. My name is Drez, Big Nate sitting across from me. And this is almost like a little bit of a deja vu because last week I popped a blue can of not beer stuff. And well, that's where we're sitting again today. So I have Mike's hard blue freeze, which in case you're wondering is a premium malt beverage with natural flavors and certified colors. That's right. Nothing but the best here. There's some consortium just, uh, going wild certifying colors. So while the, paid. while the intro was playing, I'm, I'm reading all the stuff on this can. Cause I just find it very interesting. So you got, I, this must be a tagline, I guess. Nobody makes lemonade like Mike's. Okay, that's fine. It's the blue freeze. But here we go. Mike's is hard. So is prison. Don't drink and drive. Okay, that's fair. And here we go. This is the hard blue freeze, but it does remind you, do not freeze. And that this is a flavored beer, according to them. So I guess technically, maybe this is a beer. Are we actually drinking beer? I didn't think we were. But... Malt beverage. Red is, fruit is, coloring. Is that sounds malt like beverage beer. A fr of, I mean, I guess. I guess so. My in-laws would count it as beer, so I'm going to go ahead and say we're we're drinking beer. So well, that, is, that, is quite, that is certified blue. That is certified blue for sure, man. Oh, my God. I've got the same thing, but in red. This is the hard red freeze. It also says Mike's is hard. So is prison. Don't drink and drive. Or don't drive drunk, rather. Uh, which I drinking think is, and driving is totally fine. Just don't drive drunk. I, I, I think is way better than like, uh, I mean, it was, there was a comedian who had a bit about, uh, like when they were putting all the different cigarette warning labels, uh, give me the pack with uh birth defects. Cause yeah. I'm not getting pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. And, uh, I, I think this much more captures the message than, uh, I mean, it, it, it once they start printing like photos of drunk driving accident victims, we're going to, I I think drinking will rapidly decline. But so I have not had any of these. I've never even, I didn't, I didn't know what the blue, the freeze series is with mics. I don't know how it differs from like normal mics, but you said you've actually had the blue one already. I, That's why I I'm drinking like the blue one. So uh, that's the one I've had. And, so uh, what's up with the, do you know, the difference between a, a freeze versus just a normal Mike's lemonade? I would wager there's less lemonade because to me, at least the blue tastes like a Slurpee. And uh, well, I guess that's true. Slurpee. It doesn't say lemonade, does it? It yeah, just says so Mike's I, hard blue I, freeze. I think it's more like alcoholic Kool-Aid. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I can get behind that, I guess. Now, my next question is, why have you had this before? <laughs> So, my in-laws are not drinkers by trade. Um, for instance, father-in-law is a paramedic. But once in a while, you know, we go to the beach and he likes a, a cold beverage. Uh, his go-to is either the Long Island iced tea that we learned. Oh, that was not so, actually a Long Island iced so tea. So, we've just been drinking your uh, father-in-law's last two shows. Have been his inspired booze. by him, yeah. But he also likes the, uh, the Mike's, the Smirnoff's. Not... Smirnoff vodka, which would be like totally respectable, but the Smirnoff the ice, ice, yeah, where you get you used is, to ice people back yeah, in the day. That's that's kind of my. Have favorite. you iced him? No, I, I really. You should. absolutely should, of course. But yeah, I mean these these are right there. I mean five percent ABV. It's not high. It's not gonna. Yeah, nothing crazy. Knock you on your butt. But you're right. This definitely does just taste like like a Kool Aid or something. So. My next question, you so you've had this. Is this going to turn my tongue blue? It feels like something that it, it might change my tongue. To I be think certifiably blue, blue. blue. Is it getting there yet? No, I'm but almost... but and last week we were talking about how uh, it feels like certain things are uh, come out, and the color is the flavor. I always think of blue and red. 
I do applaud them for that. They're not trying to sugarcoat it's it. Blue they're, for you. They're they're not. Yeah, What's they're, blue. They're, the color. Who the hell knows? It's not blue raspberry. They're not. It's not blueberry. They're not beating around the bush. This is just blue. You're drinking red. I think coming up we got pink and we got white. I, I, I'm white's a, to white's try a white. mystery. I, I not really, a lot of white. Yeah. What could the white be based on? I really don't know. But this was a course in a a variety pack that you can purchase at your know, local wherever you might try and get some booze. But yeah, this is the sort of stuff. So before I started drinking beer, I, I was, you know, all about some Mike's hard lemonade. High school you know? big Nate would have loved this. Yeah, I definitely was drinking, you know, the Mike's back in high school. You know, by the time college came around, that's when I got more into like Everclear. And of course, then once Four Loco and Juice came on the scene, you didn't lurk back. But I remember Juice, uh, Freshman year of college, I was living in Muse Hall, which I think is being used again all of a sudden in spite of their plans to tear it down. And that 7-Eleven across the street, I remember they had a giant Snoop Dogg standee promoting juice. And I oh, yeah? still, to this day, regret not like Just taking it when I had the that. opportunity. That would have been a good one to have for sure. But yeah, I was team juice over Four Loco. Uh, I don't know why, but I was more of a juice guy. I well, just I, like preferred it. I like the loco. You have two of them. Then your Ocho loco. Mm-hmm. Throw some Gatorade in there. You're hydrated, mm-hmm. sort of. Yeah, this is this is going down. Not too bad. I I do think this would make me sick to my stomach, not from the booze, but from the sugar. I can I, was, I can already the feel reason, the heartburn coming. Yeah, like, the I main reason I was looking at the can was I was wondering if they would have the balls to put the nutrition That's facts exactly on here. Exactly what I was looking for. Obviously, they do not. But sugar like out the yin yang. Three hundred grams of sugar. Something like that. It's got to be, got to be up there. But yeah, the sugar is uncertified. I wonder what my first. I remember my first sip of beer was, you know, a Miller Lite or whatever when my parents were looking, just and it was disgusting. But I want to credit Mike's Hard Lemonade. I feel like that's probably the first alcoholic beverage that I drank the entire like bottle of, you know, and was like, okay, we're. We're partying in high school. I we got some Mike's hard lemonades, and I think I drank an entire. I think that might have been the, my first kind of alcoholic beverage. The the first one, like no. you you were author, you were certified to have certified or sure. okay. not? No, nah, I mean not certified. Uh, I'm trying to actually now that I think about it, that was not my first alcoholic beverage. My first it was just liquor, drinking a bunch of liquor and stuff. But my first, you know product what how, how would you say that it bottled bottled or can i believe mike's was probably a mike's mike's was OG. my first approved that my mom saw beverage it was mike's red lemonade it was sophomore year of high school and we were driving cross country i was in missoula montana we were at a campground we were tent camping and uh i i, I will never forget that because uh they gave me the mics, and then they went off and did something, and then I was left alone with my sister and my, at the time, he would have been like three, three-year-old little brother. So How old was the sister? questionable parenting. Here's a mic, and uh, you babysit these kids. <laughs> You're the adult, clearly. Uh, wow. Old enough to drink, old enough to watch these kids. Well, was this before or after your, the Bells? Because I know that was your first beer. So was that, this was, this would have been. After the bells. After the bells. Okay. So was the bells then your first alcoholic beverage, I guess, officially? Well, I mean, if you, like you said, the first taste of beer, I, I think I downed a good portion of Miller Lite when I was like three. My so my dad had left it on the ground. So we're both Miller Lite first. These, wow. Ah, and that's like one of my all time least favorites. Bells is the first beer I remember. The, the first beer I had and consumed a full beer. And then Mike's was the first thing my mom saw me drink. And then let me babysit. I mean, it, it's 5%. What's it going to do? But Yeah, I would say Mike's was my first full beverage. And then my first full beer must have, it had to have been like Beast. Mm. I think that was the main thing people were buying. You know, the cheap crap that you'd buy in high school. Yep. Or, you know, whatever was the cheapest. That was always what it was. So it was either Beast. I don't think people really started to get natty until college is when I, but yeah, it mu- it had to be beast. I didn't know Natty existed until college. Yeah, same here. Like, well, yeah, I can't remember. I think it was yeah, 
College is when people were buying more nags. I, 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 I like to think that uh, uh, our parents would be better, a better class of drinkers than uh, college students. Because Miller Lite, at that point, that, that much better. Go to parties with Genesee. Ugh. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It comes in 30 packs. Yeah, but. I know it, it was funny. You always knew when somebody's like parent was in town or like an alumni when the they get, was better when they would get a Bud Light keg or something like that. You're like, oh snap, busting out the bid, but <laughs> is there an alumni in town? What's going on? Yeah, seriously. I wonder what I, I mean. I haven't bought a keg obviously in forever, but I think they were like, I want to say a, a keg of natty, which was pretty that was pretty much the standard, was like forty four bucks. Yep, does that sound about right? That does. And then I think a keg of Bud Light was like 60. So it's like, get the hell out of here. Well, how many, how many times were you at a party and they're like, uh, we need cash for another keg? Mm hmm. You go around with a hat yeah. asking for keg donations. Yeah. I mean, that's, and then that's when I would be like, I wave my hand. I'm like, <laughs> I got a, I got a flask. I got a flask here, buddy. I'm not, I'm not contributing to your delinquency. But yeah, I, uh, I do, I do remember those good old Mike's Hard Lemonade days back in. But again, it was one of those, one of those things where you, I guess maybe just because you were so young, you'd bounce back all right, and you could just have that kind of crazy sugar intake. Or I don't know if it wasn't as bad. I mean, it must have been. I mean, I'm sure it was just sugar, 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 in the original Mike's. I, I guess we could look I, it up. I, I feel like they haven't changed their formula. You think the internet? They, they didn't have caffeine, so like, they were probably fine. As long as you certify your colors, you keep rolling. All right, I think the internet has. I mean, I don't. You know, I, this is AI overview. So I guess AI. You know, must I be trust true, right? The AI. Mike's Hard Freeze is a pre-made cocktail with 220 calories, five percent ABV. Oh my gosh! It says, "Oh well, uh, well now I don't trust it." It says it comes in flavors blue raspberry, the blue freeze, cherry, the red freeze. Does yours taste like cherry? Would you would you say that was probably it, it cherry does. based? Then there's the pink lemonade, which is the pink freeze. And don't tell me what the white yeah, is. Yeah, I, I don't want to reveal it. I'll, I'll get you. Ha, you're gonna have the white, and you can try and get the flavor. I assume it's like a mystery flavor laffy taffy or oh. Airhead. It says refreshing, gluten free, and has no aftertaste. So far, I'm I'm on board. That's all that the I mean, I don't like having the mystery just thrown in my face. Let me type like, in sugar. 30 grams of sugar. Okay, I don't believe it. That's in a standard serving size. Do we are we saying a standard yeah. serving, What's a size? serving size? A can? That's a good question. What would be a serving size? I mean, 12 size? ounces seems pretty standard. Yeah, you would think. I don't know. I'm surprised. Two 220? Does that sound? I'm I'm almost Surprised that it's only 220 calories, frankly. Uh, it, that gluten free, okay. Uh, what malts are you using? How are you removing the gluten? That's a good question. And the sugar definitely, it, it tastes like more than 30 grams based on my Sweet. addiction to candy consumption. Right. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, it's delicious. That being said, it is quite delicious. I mean, this is not what I would reach for. I don't frankly think I'll ever drink these again, but if it was the only option and you handed it to me, especially on a hot summer day, I probably would, would mess around with it. I'll give the blue freeze from Mike's a three. All right. So I, I looked it up. I, I gave the blue freeze a four. Really? And uh, you were loving it. Red Freeze is also going to be four. It tastes like candy, man. It, it, I mean, it's not fair to like lump it in with beer. This is not beer at all. Yeah, I'm not going. What I would probably do with something like this, with this sweet, and of course, it just tastes like, like you said, just like candy. You can't taste the alcohol. I would put it over ice and maybe just add some vodka. Add some vodka. Yeah. Boost but, up that ABV. I think that's what Did you ever, uh, Kmart used to have a food court. Or not a food court. It was like a, little, a little, little cafe. Kind of, yeah. Where they called slush puppies. I can't remember. They had their version, version of a of Slurpee. Slurpee. Yeah. And that's what the red tastes like is the red flavor of that. Yeah. So you just want it. So you do want There's, to try and freeze it then. And then it would be very I, I reminiscent kind of, of that. I, I, I kind of want to like take it home it and freeze says, it and see it, what happens. It says not to, but 
I guess you uh, probably just shouldn't put the can in the freezer. If you poured it yeah, into maybe, a, if you pour it into a glass, it'll be fine. Or a bag, maybe a bag, and then put it in the freezer. All right, we digress. We'll we're gonna try the white and the pink coming up next. It's a uh, a Bruce Day Tuesday, technically beer, I guess. Right here on one hundred five point three, the Bear. Stick around.